Fish Tank people, Dawson's Fish Tanks bringing it to you with something I've never done with the no maintenance tank before. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. Before we head over to the no maintenance tank, you know what we gotta do. Can we are right. you here? I do not care. They don't what care? Do you, um, I gotta catch my breath for a second. <laughs> All right, folks, we are here in front of the no maintenance tank. They are open right now. Uh, those of you not following me on Instagram, this is being done live on Instagram as well. But uh, the no maintenance tank had a full three day blackout. And I gotta tell you, we're gonna do something we've never done on a no maintenance tank, literally doing no maintenance. We've never done before today, but first I want you all to know the three day blackout worked. Uh, we do have a tiny bit of algae on here, around here, but overall you can see that the algae is ridiculously better than it was the last time. But I wanna point something out real quick. Look right here, look how the duckweed is. You can see the duckweed on this half of the tank and there's none on this half of the tank. And then look where the algae stuff is. That's probably the leftover from the old we didn't get. I don't know what that funky stuff is. We're gonna get that out of here in a second. But then there's less algae over here because there's less light. But all this stuff, all this algae that we removed went one place and one place only. All of the algae that we killed that died and we stirred up the tank, it all went into the wonderful and the almighty FX4, which I have not, I repeat, I have not ever in the history of this aquarium changed or cleaned the filter of the FX4. So today, it's been over 450 days since the FX4 was put on this tank. I'm actually gonna clean the filter and get rid of all the dead, decaying algae that sucked into it and clean the sucker up. Here we go. All right, boys and girls, now kids, don't try this at home. Uh, nobody recommends not cleaning your filter for over uh, a year. This filter was put on here around January 1st of 2017. This is being filmed in the middle uh, latter half of April, so over 450 some days of absolutely zero maintenance on the Fluval FX4. And this is why I like Fluval's filters and a lot of their stuff is because you can't bust it. It's still actually flowing right now and you can see the flow level we've got today versus what we're gonna have after we clean this sucker. Um, due to this being an open place right now, I'm not gonna tear apart the FX4 here. We're actually gonna run the FX4 home, clean it at home, scrub it out, and then bring it back here and plug it back on. So I'm gonna show you how we disassemble this sucker. First things first, we unplug it. It's unplugged. Now what I like about it is it's got these easy thumb screws right here. This connects all the way up. This is the either the input or the out. This is the input. This is the water that goes into the filter. We close it, so that's closed. I gotta turn this one off over here. And click back, click back there, and get that one. I'm gonna close that one. All right. So now they're both off. So now I'll turn this off. It's off. Tiny little bit of water is gonna come out. Nothing we haven't dealt with before. Whatever. That's why it's got little trays here. So that one's off. That's off. So those two are laying there, tiny little bit of water. Can this come out of here? That is the question. And apparently there's a reason I haven't cleaned the FX4 in uh, almost 500 days, because I can't get it out. So I'm gonna actually drain this halfway down, suck off all this algae here, uh, and then lift the tank, slide it forward a little bit, pull the FX4 out, and then clean it, which is actually over cleaning the tank. I don't really want to clean it that well, but uh, that's what we're gonna do today to get this sucker out to show you how to clean it. The question is, how low can I get this tank and still be able to move it to get this FX4 out of here? <laughs> I was double checking myself this morning to like think, like, have I ever cleaned the FX4? And I didn't think I had. Well, now I remember why. Don't lose these pieces. A gallon of water weighs, what, eight pounds, something like that. So 50 gallon, 55 gallon tank. I'm gonna go to easy numbers here. We're gonna go 50 times eight 
is 400, hope that math's right. And then we're gonna take it halfway down, so we're gonna go down to 200 pounds, uh, which is still a lot of weight. That doesn't include grabbing all these big rocks in here. So this is not a light process, but uh, we gotta get it slid out about, I don't know, eight inches or so to get the FX4 out. So more water. I nailed it, look at that, no water in the mouth. All right, and while I'm doing this, I want you guys to click links around here or, and check out the video I did where I talk about the top 10 fastest ways to kill your fish. I'm actually over cleaning the tank. I would not like to be cleaning out and ripping out the filter at the same time doing a huge water change. It's too much messing with the beneficial bacteria that we have going on. There's some living in the substrate, but click links around, check out the top 10 fastest ways to kill your fish. I've done this when I lived in Florida. I killed all kinds of uh, bleeding heart tetras when I over cleaned my old 125. So. I don't like doing this aggressive of a water change and a filtering in the same day. There's not heavy fish load in here and the uh, fish are small. The fish are hardy, so I'm not too worried about it. But it is worth noting. Well, the stretch before we did this. A little bit more. not the best stand either so now, this is the feature of the fx4 that's pretty cool that i never use that you all should check out click down here click down here look down here you can see this uh output thing right here so it's got like not five gallons of water but close you can see that little knob right there so what we can do is drain half of this out right here to make it lighter and easier to move uh out of here so i think right here That's off. Now there's a little, make sure you get that little, see that? You guys see that little spot right here? Now once I flip this, this is the foulest water on the planet. But I got a bag and I'm good. So hit that. Look at that nasty right there. But that'll make this easier for me to carry. It's a cool feature, so you can connect like a, a tube to it or whatever. I'm gonna kill this, dump this, come back, do it again and to make the FX4 lighter. But scope that out. How's that? It's pretty foul. Ugh. Wow. I like the bag too, because I can grab around it. That's over almost 500 days of never been clean. I just wanted to get Miss Jell with Jacoby. She used to keep fish back in the day. What'd you keep, Miss Jacoby? Oh, I had zebrafish, angelfish, uh, catfish, platties, guppies. Oh gosh, you name it. I had tons of them. Smart cookie knows yes. what's going on. I had on a in lot here. of a duckweed in my tank. Supportive of Dustin doing this. Yes, yes, I think it's great. It's a, it's a good thing for kids. It's a good interactive thing with kids. I, I. Uh, what's that? What? What's that, dude? What's everybody asking you about that? This tape? Yeah. Uh, people ask me if that's holding the tank together, and I told them that I was confident it was just holding the background on there. Yeah. Someone thought it was leaking, but yeah. I said, no, I don't. Not yet. So. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you very much for what you do for oh, us, dude. and we always appreciate you and your uh, it's family. It's my fun. Your yeah. family. That's right. That's cool. Right. Thank you, Thank sir. you. Yeah. All right. See, so you ended up now. So now the FX4 is lighter. what I'm talking about. I wish they had a hose around here. I don't think they have a hose around here. It's time to take her home. It's heavy. Oh yeah. Feel the burn, baby. It's time to unleash the beast. Out of breath. All right, folks, boys and girls, fish tank people and fish tank peopleettes. Uh, this is a hide the women and the children project. This is a do this when your parents are not at home project because this is going to be nasty. Do it outside if you can, or uh, you know, pray for forgiveness, not permission, with your mom to do it in the bathtub. 
FX4 is an improved uh, thumbnail screws. It makes it easy to disconnect everything. And this has not been done in almost 500 days. We don't recommend doing that, but it is what it is with this. No maintenance tank. Let me peel this off of there. Good seal. Oh yeah. Seals slipped. Duckweeds in the filter. These are the trays. And we're gonna clean all this. We're not gonna use water from the fish tank, even though that's advised. We're gonna kill all the beneficial bacteria in here, but that's okay. And then we're gonna scrub it up, put it back on the tank, run the tank into a bucket. Uh, so all the nasty water that's collected in here gets poured out, not back into the tank, or put it all back together. All right, get the hose. Hose is disconnected. Because we've had frost recently. Killing all the beneficial bacteria that lives in here. Primarily it's in the back in the uh, substrate though and in the water. So whatever, we're cleaning the pads. Cold chlorinated water. The one thing I'm not gonna clean is this the bacteria in here it's probably not gonna survive being out of the water for too long but I'm not gonna clean it I'm gonna set it aside I should have brought some tank water but whatever spray that off nice easy trays you could use any kind of media you wanted in here uh, obviously we're using what came with it but if you wanted to run some carbon or something different you could and I'd love to know your comments. If you think there's a better canister filter on the market than the FX4, you let me know in the comments what filter and why. Because I mean, look, this is almost 500 days of no cleaning and this is tanned up quite nicely to it. I am gonna dump all that out. That's nasty. Give it a quick spray. Watch out. Uh, got a little pad in there. That's gotta get cleaned. These are phenomenal filters. All right, again, everything is over cleaned. I would prefer not to have cleaned it and dipped it in, you know, fish tank water or whatever. So there is no beneficial bacteria on there. These are cold. These have been hit with chlorinated water. It's like 45 degrees out right now. So there's nothing beneficial as far as biologically going on in here, but you can see how this is easily put back together. Uh, I am putting these back in here. They haven't been rinsed or anything. That's gonna make a mess of the water, but so be it. If any beneficial bacteria uh, stayed good, not whatever. Uh, put this one here. Probably put another pad in there, but I'm not gonna. These always mess me up. I typically don't use them. They're made so you can pull the whole, like the whole shebang out. Like you can pull it all out. I just pull it out tray by tray, so I don't use the little, uh, the little orange clip things. But I mean, they're made so you can just grab it like this if you wanted to. I'll show you that. This would be how it would go. Right here, right here, here. So despite its bulkiness, you showed how the drain can come out. Uh, it makes it pretty easy to pull everything out. Bada boom. Bada bing. Bada bing. Now, here's the part where you can screw it up and make a leak all over your floor. This can happen with any type of filter. And that is not getting it on and sealed properly. Ask me how I know this. So this goes like this on here. Our, our gasket is in here, okay? It is securely in here. Sometimes you wanna replace these, it's in. Do not forget to put these in if you're assembling an FX4 for the first time. This goes on here. And then what we do is we cross tighten one here. One over here, we do about three quarters of the tightness over here, so we're doing a cross. I really don't know how much it matters. Thank you, my lovely assistant, for that one. Obviously, that one fell in the grass, uh, but we just kind of lightly tighten all of them to get everything in place and the seal good. Thumb screws are an improvement on the FX5, which is hard to improve on that one. It actually comes with a siphon tube, too. I didn't show that. Not one that's long enough to run with, but now we go around here and we kind of cross tighten like so. And make sure all these are tight, but not too tight, like thumb push, like that's your push right there. 
Oh wait, I screwed up. Look, right there. Rewind the tape. Messed it up. See, I thought it was in there. No, you got to get that O-ring in there. So start it over. I was standing over top of it. That's right, Andrew. You're so good at so many things. Shout outs to Andrew making the 360 video. Literally, that video was shot over 45 days ago. We didn't do it. So if you guys like that 360 video, some of you all click links around to check that out. You can like scroll through my greenhouse. You can like scan and like move your little finger on your little iPhone or computer screen and like pull around and watch as I talk about stuff. It's pretty cool. It's not like your standard video. Let's put the gasket in. I'm gonna go and clean, 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 clean. Now, is, I thought that was in there inside the rim. That wasn't it. Make sure there's nothing obstructing this. This is the critical part. This is the woo-woo part, folks. These are the gaskets. We're getting sexy. Now the O-ring's on there. Now we see it up. Yeah. And I want to make a point, too. Uh, I Obviously, I tout this. I'm using the SP4 uh, pumps, made the same style uh, with those. If anybody's using like the circuit, or not the circulation pumps, but the actual like uh, pumps, we're using two of them in this greenhouse. We've tried to break them, Josh and I, and we haven't been able to. So the pump technology carries over. Uh, this has smart pump technology, which actually turns off. I've showed that in other videos where it turns off in the first minute uh, and then it kind of bubbles every out. Hey, Josh, throw it up here. Josh, Josh comes by. What's he saying us here? A ball valve. A ball valve. Because yesterday I was like, dude, I didn't finish this project because I'm missing a ball valve. Good find, bro. All right. Almost put back together here. All right. Let's go put it back on the tank. Who needs kettlebells? Note, Ninja Technique, this tube right here is full of water. This water right here and this all the way up here is at a lower level than the FX4, which means when we put it on here, this will go in the end. This should start siphoning back in here so we don't have to do any sucking or any grossness of the foulness. So this is a good thing. This is full, intentionally left here. And quite frankly, I ran with this one for the effect. So let's put the sucker back in here. Make sure that's back on, goes like this. It's like a chamois, it's like a sponge. And then, uh, I don't even know how that goes, there we go. That's just a plug, and then this threads on over it, like so. All right, and I should have cleaned out in there, but I didn't, but it's not making a noise, it's not loud, because nothing's worse than a loud filter. So this is the output, output, this is the input. We're not gonna connect it yet. We're gonna put it back in here. So I've never cut these. I wanna have the flexibility to use it later. Now let's pull this back. No one ever comes out of the YouTube videos to help me put these tanks back together. I put greenhouses together by myself. I lug 200 gallon tanks. I jog by myself. It's a lonely existence. All right, so that's back. Better to where it needs to be. Start to siphon while it's filling. All right, so I'm going to put the, the input the water return back on. I'm missing some clips around here. It comes with three clips one, two, three. Don't ask me where they went, they're probably around here somewhere. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to take this and I'm going to pray that the big siphon is back on. So I'm going to open the these are on tight. You don't want to mess around. I've got the water running, so I do have a tempo with this. So I'm going to pull that, and that should, uh, you can hear it coming. Hear that? So that's, that's filling, and that's a good thing. So it's actually draining the water level down. This is going to fill. When I kick it on, I'm going to undo that upper one. I'm going to pump it all into a bucket and let it run into a bucket for a minute so all the nastiness comes out of here. Then I'm going to triple check my fish because I'm a little uncomfortable with how much of a water change and how much of a bacteria load we're doing at the same time. And uh, that's how we're going to roll. So we're going to let that fill up for a second. Mm -hmm. Plug this in and then quickly scurry over there and get it into the bucket.
and that's why we're doing that. A little bit of nasty water in there. But that's all the water coming through the FX4 and into here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I should run this through twice. Actually, now I'm in trouble. I'm gonna clip that. Because I don't want too much of that water to run. I'm going to dump this, do it again. Because why not? Because this water, all those pads had chlorine on the water and everything. Uh, chlorine on the pads. We don't want that. Just in case, we're going to do another rinse. Because we don't want this foul water in our tank. All right. While we're back here, we're going to check the temps. The temps are perfect. Love it. I love this big, bulky, old school FX, or excuse me, Fluval Quad T5s. Because like kids are here, and I don't want kids messing with this. It's like a big, heavy thing, so you don't have to really worry about kids screwing around with it. Timer's off, which is a good thing. I'm going to turn it on, kind of keep an eye on the fish. So now we're just watching everything, monitoring everything. How are the fish? How are the temps? Filter is off. Water's the same temp, close enough, happy about that. We've already added dechlor. Uh, and then we're gonna disconnect this again, right here, and drain it out again, just so all that water that's either nasty or has chlorine in it in the FX4 is coming out. And you can do it down like this. And with a dry hand, plug it back in. And then now the ideal thing is to like get in there. If I had two, if I had an extra hand, I'd get in there and I'd stir everything up and then pull it through the filter and out here. But this is a this is a, a power clean right here for sure. The problem is now this is a downside, and so I got to stop this. And that's it's still gonna pump some nasty water in the tank, but not a lot. At the end of the day, it's gonna pump a little bit of water out, but. It is what it is. I've gone through two buckets, so the water that's going to spit out at first is going to be a little dirty, but oh well. We're putting fresh water in, so it's going to pump cloudy for just a sec. It's the third drain and fill. Note, I could have used the little plug on the back side of this, like I showed you earlier, and just drained it out that way. I'm going all the way through, baby. All the way through. So now this water is cleaner than the last time, too, so I feel good about that. All right, now I'm going to get over here and unplug this. And I'm gonna let that spray actually. I'm gonna let the I'm gonna turn that back on and let it spray all over the place. Now here they got a nice big hot water heater, so I'm not worried about the temps. At home I have to worry about my hot water heater not kicking on because my pipes suck. Fish are happy. It's gonna be a stirred up mess. But uh, it'll clean. Look at the water. The water temp right there is perfect. Seven a little high, but not bad. They can handle that swing. And uh, now we're just filling. That guy's the chosen one up there. He was already chasing around a lady. Hope he comes back in front. Notice how much more water flow we got coming out of the FX4 right now. That should help with algae, uh, water flow, circulation, gas exchange, the whole bit. I didn't have enough earlier, but once the filter was cleaned out, we're good to go. So now it's pulling harder and it's pushing out more. I'm excited. The Grappler Cordata Red does not care. Growing just fine. Pacopa yellow flame, new growth. Loving it. Uh, notice the difference in the feng shui when the, it's quiet coming off like that. So I'm gonna bounce it off the glass. I really want to aim it down on this tree because this tree seems to get some algae on it. I'm gonna name, aim it kind of one down and one over. All right, now. Before I like think I'm done, I'm going to double check everything. So I want to make sure these are clipped on here. These are clipped on here pretty good. This only has one clip, but it's underneath the light, whatever. Priority packing tape holding it together. The cap's back on there. The timer's going to be on. Just double checking everything. Ah, the tank isn't sitting square though. That's going to kill me. Darn it.
All right, folks, I'd love to give you the tank clean after an hour shot. Unfortunately, it's 12.30 and I'm here and I'm trying to get out of their hair. Got the nice duckweed sleeve right here, but you can see we got this tank cleaned up. Do me a favor, folks, follow me on Twitter. You can see our Twitter handle down there. Also, make sure you hit the notification button and subscribe button and drop me a comment on your favorite canister filter and why. I'd love to know if you got one better than the FX4. Everybody, make it an awesome week. Tomorrow, I close on the new greenhouse property land. Tank on, everybody. Later.